mean, this thing came out absolutely beautiful. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Donnie D with Donnie D's Tile and Remodeling LLC out of Spotsy, New Jersey. So today, we're going to talk about bathroom remodeling in central New Jersey. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through multiple clips from multiple jobs all the way back from 2015, 2016 when I started the business here. So stay tuned. Here we go. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so today... Again, I'm going to show you what's going on here. All the bathrooms that we've done over the years and how I can help you with your bathroom remodel in central New Jersey. So here's a project I did way back in 2016. I did two bathrooms in this home. They were complete marble with a border. You have basket weave on the floor there with a, out, with a border around it with a 3 by 6 marble. So all the tile was marble here. We did a full demo of this project all the way down to the studs. We had to rebuild the entire subfloor, had to uh, do a lot of work to the joists, all new mechanical, meaning plumbing, electrical, everything we did here except the shower doors from the demo all the way through the painting here. This job came out amazing. We did a nice recessed Vent, or what do, you, what do you want to call it, medicine cabinet there, two sconce lights on the sides. We all laid it out. It came out really good. Brand new, actually, cast iron tub. <laughs> Bringing that up the stairs with the plumber, that bad boy is about three, 400 pounds. That thing was a tank. Uh, we did the nice, uh, I think this was a 12 by 16 marble on the walls. Then we had a nice... Uh, trim piece on the outside kind of like a bull nose a little bit different look to it we did a really nice large niche in there as well this job in this bathroom came out absolutely amazing client loved it worked out for for both the client and ourselves everything just was was amazing on this project i was so happy i was able to help this homeowner so that was the one project we did here. We actually did two bathrooms at the same time. I'll, okay, I'll show so you the here's the other bathroom. Here. They're, they're directly next to each other in this home. This is the uh, master bathroom, you consider it, or the main bathroom. Same thing with the with the floor, basket weave marble on the floor with, with a perimeter border there of 3x6 marble. A nice vanity there. Another recess uh, mirror with the lights on the top there exhaust fan everything brand new completely brand new a nice one-piece toilet then we uh custom made this shower here same thing with this bathroom completely re redone down to the studs redo the whole subfloor the joists had a self level of the floor as we had a level a uh, double layer plier everything in here is is rock solid that last the client easily 30 to 50 years but anyway built that little pony wool or half wool right there that you see with the marble on top did that custom size bench uh, another large niche on the wall over there i mean this thing came out absolutely beautiful well one one valve on the shower with a shower head the client kept it pretty simple with a shower head a lot of people now are going in there and they're they want body sprays i want this i want that by the time we get done people are getting hosed in there <laughs> I wouldn't want that water bowl. But anyway, project came out amazing this bathroom. Again, we handled everything from the demo all the way through the painting except for the shower doors on this project. It came out absolutely beautiful. Client was happy. We were happy. New, new doors as well, too, in both bathrooms. Okay, so here is what this bathroom looked like before. Old door. This is all original from, I believe, the, the 80s or so. It's funny that we see those hex-shaped tiles on the floor that's actually coming back now. But this is what it looked like before we did a complete gut and, and remodel on this bathroom. I'll show you the next clip what it looked like when we were done. Okay, so here is another bathroom remodel it did. This was way back in 2016-2017. Now their project client reached out to us. They they wanted to redo their own their bathroom. This is their main bathroom in their house. So 
we definitely had to work as more efficient as possible and have all the materials. But anyway, we re same situation here. Everything was completely redone down to the studs. We handled everything except for putting up the, the curtain. I, I think we actually put up the curtain at some point, but we did everything. Same thing here. The floor was rotted out. The joists didn't work. It, it was a complete nightmare. We ripped out the window, put new glass in there, put the window back in. Amazing bathroom at the end though everything was replaced so you have nice porcelain tile on the floor 12 by 24 nice vanity there and then we replaced the interior door as well new bathtub new everything so the thing came out absolutely beautiful okay so here's a project we did for a general contractor back in 2017 we did this project this was a really nice master bathroom remodel we handled the tile work on this project. We pretty much tiled all the bathroom walls in the main area and one in the uh, toilet area. And this was really nice tile. Italian porcelain shipped from Italy and they were 12 by 48 inches, which is pretty much the biggest tile you can get for, for you know, for large format tile, besides getting into the, the large panel, the thin panel or gauge panel porcelain installations we even put it on the ceiling i mean with the recessed lights i mean we had four tiles left over literally and the client says you know what i want it on the ceiling i said really and this is crazy because this is at the end of our project and the grout day we were done completely ready to pull off the job and they said you know what let's do the ceiling how much for that so I said, you know, it's going to be around this much to do it. They said, okay. And we said, all right. Now, this was a little bit nerve-wracking because we only had four tiles, but I templated everything. Uh, got it right the first time, and they went up. So I really lucked out on that ceiling. Everything worked out. And uh, this is actually when I had hair. <laughs> and you can see I'm trying to, I'm starting to go bald there in the back of my head, but I had hair on this job. Now I'm so you decide, just shave it off instead of trying to hang on to it. But anyway, had that really large niche there. That was like four or five feet high. If you can see the wall where the rubber duck is, we're actually able to make it look like the tile is wrapping on the inside there. So the same cutoff piece to have it really look good with the grains. Um, then we have, it's a curbless shower in this bathroom too. Two by two mosaics on that. And then we have 24 by 24 porcelain on the floor. This was a really, really good project. Came out great. The client was happy. The general contractor's happy. And I'm so happy we were able to help each other on this project. And I look forward to helping more contractors and this contractor as well on future projects. So that was this bathroom 2017. Now the bathroom here, we, we remodeled the, the tub surround, put a new tub in, all new tile going around. This is really a nice looking, kind of stone look tile. Came out great. Two shelves in there with a nice marble pencil on the perimeter. Staggered look with the, with the stone look porcelain tile. Another great project in the books. Another project here, I believe this was in 2020 of the summer. We didn't do a full rem we didn't do a full remodel, but we pretty much did everything else. So client came to me, they had a failed shower that was leaking. <laughs> believe it or not, this is right under the stairs going into the uh, to the basement. The shower failed and was leaking down through the, the stairs there like 10 feet away. So they called me in. I completely rebuilt the shower, nice porcelain tile in there, pebbles on the floor, niche in there, and I redid the molding around the uh, bathroom as well, did some drywall work. So this was back in 2020, another project that came out great. Can't wait to do another one like this. Okay, another project, another failed shower. This client reached out to me. They had a general contractor that they originally hired, and they, they they did the whole like addition on the house. It was a Cape Cod style house. They put a nice addition on and put with his bathroom, but everything was pretty much done wrong with the shower, and that's why they called me in there to, to rescue him out of there. So the shower was leaking. They were using it for about a year or so at the time. This was back in uh, 2022, this project, and I came in there, 
pretty much rebuilt the shower to the same um, layout, same kind of tile, very similar with the large niche in there, the subway tile, and then a two by two, two, by two mosaics on the floor with the line uh, trench style drain. Came out really good, clients were happy, I was happy. We ran into a few things, pretty much I had to rebuild not only the shower, but the drywall on the back of one wall, the drywall below it, and the kitchen below. So it kind of down, but only did a lot of things. I had to reframe almost all the walls in the shower. So everything was done wrong, leading for me to do a lot of work to get it right for this client. So this is another example of, of hiring you know the right contractor for the job who really knows what they're doing. Just spend the money once and, and be done with the project. But that was this project back in 22, another project I was really happy and glad I was get ready, you know, I was able to help this client get back in their shower and have a leak free shower for many years to come. Okay, another curbless shower bathroom here in central New Jersey. So this is for a contractor. They reach out to me and they want someone like me with my expertise to build them a curbless shower for the bathroom model for this homeowner client so this thing came out really well it was on actually on a concrete slab so i had to do some work with the concrete to get everything to work some self-leveling a lot of prep work went into this to make it right but to give a rundown we had 12 by 12s on the floor we did an envelope cup to the drain so everything is slow properly and we had some really nice polished porcelain 24 by 24s on the wall with a large niche and actually the client at the time we, we we figured for a certain amount of work and they wanted to add a heated floor in there so that's what we did we did the whole floor was heated with two different cables one for the bathroom floor one for the shower floor so this job came out absolutely amazing i, I personally really love the uh 12 by 24 i'm sorry 24 by 24 polished porcelain look tile so Another project in the books, another, you know, contractor and homeowner that was, I was really happy to be able to help. So, another one for you. Another one. <laughs> well, here's another project I did. This was in 2020. This is a complete marble shower. This was a big shower. I believe this was about six feet, to six to seven feet wide by about three and a half to four feet. The short side then you had the two half walls client reach out to me um, they pretty much did a lot of the work themselves as far as mechanical goes the demo and whatnot they pretty much handed me the, the shower from the studs on and they're really amazing people to work for I mean, everyone i pretty much work for is great to work for but this client was was great as well uh, we did all marble in here like i was saying you got three by twelve i'm sorry three by six rectified in the walls you got a mosaic on the floor got the slabs for the uh, top of the knee walls there pony walls whatever term you want to use use profiles on the outside edge came out really good i actually did have an issue i made a video on this shower i did the shower had a bubble in it on a shower base but i fixed it which cost me a lot of time and money and i re-flood tested it with no issues so it's so an extra step I like to take to make sure things are always you know, 100% before I go. Okay, this shower was done in the spring of 23, 2023. Client came to me uh, with a shower issue. So I did a shower inspection here. I did a flood test and it was leaking. They had a tile ready pan in here. And I gave them the options to just redo the base if they want and or do the whole shower because I removed the shower valve trim and there was no waterproofing anywhere. At least there was a thin coat, I think, of liquid, but they only had one coat on there. So basically everything was done incorrectly. So they opted to say, you know what, let's just redo the whole shower um, and get it done right. And a lot of my clients do that. Not all of them, but a lot of them decide to go that route i don't blame them. they want to get this done get it done right and never have to worry or think about this again pay once not twice so you know the person they did hire was like a general contractor so you know some gcs are not as knowledgeable when it comes to the tile work it's either they don't they don't know or they don't care usually it's one or the other but that's why they call me in here, uh, the tile and bath specialist guy, to come in there and, and rectify the situation. But 
job came out amazing as you can see got pebbles on the floor um i have a floating bench there that was really a nice feature there and then i have rectified pores on the walls i believe those were a uh, four by 12. and then you have the ledge there on the right on profiles and edges marble curb top and whatnot nice and low curb there i think i used two two by fours in that one a lot of my jobs i do that as well but it came out really well it definitely took some time i was on this job for for a while stay tuned for that video but i was on it for a while i think i actually really yeah i released a video on that one about what the client invested and what it took and all that but i was on it for a while we ran into a lot of things and that's just how construction goes you, you run into things and you have to stop call a timeout and, and you know explain to the client what's happening what needs to be done and get it done right you don't want to you don't want to skip steps so here was a job site my trailer on the job <clears throat> this is at the end of the project i was just cleaning up but <clears throat> you know every project that i do <clears throat> i check on my clients on a kind of regular basis after the job is done usually within a few weeks few months in about a year or so i check in but that was this project another happy client in the books um i was really happy with the project too it came out great a really clean install and it's gonna last them for a lifetime so so another bathroom we did here this is a master bath back in 2019 pretty much redid most of the bathroom here um what you see here is what it looked like before. They had a jacuzzi there that came out. And I'll show you what it looks like. And I have a lot of pictures to show you afterwards. But we did a really amazing job here. Basically, the client wanted to have a really nice walk-in shower and make it curbless. So we were able to do that for them and, and take care of all their needs that they want. to really have a luxurious bathroom. Um, the client even went high end with controls for the shower to uh, turn it on with his phone and whatnot. All types of high tech stuff in in his bathroom. But I'm going to show you right now what it looked like afterwards. So we also remodeled their guest bathroom, and this is what it looks like when it's said and done. Marble on the floor, glass on the shower walls. Then here is the massive bathroom when it was said and done. This is actually, I just checked in on this project about six months ago in 2023. Took some pictures. We had a herringbone on the floor there. Uh, octagon tile on the shower floor. Came out really amazing. That, that herringbone floor is really, really, really nice. Uh, the freestanding tub there. And then we have a nice large 5x3 walk-in shower. So... That was that project back in 2019. That's all the clips I believe I have of some recent Central New Jersey bathroom remodeling projects. <clears throat> if you have any questions at all, if I, or if I can help you with your project, please reach out. My website is pretty easy. It's dtilenj.com. I really appreciate you tuning in. My name is Donnie D, and I will see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Have a good one.